Okay, so in today's video, we're going to talk about arithmetic expressions, so how to do math on the computer, and setting up the formula so you don't have to pull out your calculator, and the computer will do all the arithmetic for you. So, going into my folder called quarter one, I'm going to go new, new class. Again, I'm repeating myself now, but make sure when you name the class, it starts with a capital letter. So arithmetic expressions. Hit finish. It'll create the class here. And now we can start creating the program. So first thing as usual, we put in the main method. Main method. So public static void main string args. And then another set of brackets and so that we can do all the coding inside this block now the math right now that's very easy to do add subtract multiply and divide so there's the little symbols for each one of them there's a few more we'll get into those later but these are pretty straightforward there's one little tricky part to this so if we made Four variables int x equals 99, int y equals 11, double z, double z equals 5.34, and double h equals 3.14. Now, if you want to do the basic math of this, it's pretty straightforward. You could create a new variable that will solve, save all the results. So int, int j equals x plus y. And if you print that out, system dot out dot print line, you could put out x plus y equals, and then right here, just put plus to concatenate to the j. So now this will print out on the screen x plus y equals j. So if I run it real quick, you should see over here x plus y is 110, which 99 plus 11 is. If we wanted to, to get the same print out on the screen, we could have done this system dot out to print ln x plus y equals and then right after that concatenated to say x plus y but notice I put it in parentheses and that tells the computer to actually do the little math in that sentence because the computer knows x and y are integers and knows to add them up let me fix this syntax error here that's when you misspell something and I just want to show that you realize what would happen if you didn't put that parentheses so if that said x plus y equals and then if you just put x plus y and then a semicolon what we print out there so if we run this you'll get to see that the first one is x plus y was 110 that's when you have the variable j second one is x plus y equals 110 that's when you put it in parentheses now if you put x plus y and didn't put a parentheses here that actually just printed out the number 99 concatenated with the number 11 so 9,911, which we know is not true. Now the tricky part comes with division most of the time. So if you did system, if we made another variable, int w equals x divided by y. So that's 99 divided by 11. System done out to print ln x divided by y equals, and then we concatenate that with w. We should see right away, and we should all know, that's going to give you 9. We all know that. Now, what if I put int q equals y divided by x? 
So that's 11 divided by 99, so that's 0 point, a very long and ugly decimal. So let's see what the computer prints out. And I'll explain why it's not going to print out what you think. Most people think it's going to print out 0 point, I believe it's 9 something, plus Q. So you run this, and it just prints out 0. And what it's doing is, y is an integer, x is an integer, and when it divides two integers, the answer is going to be an integer. So let's see what it does with doubles. And then we will, so double r equals z divided by h. Something I can't actually do in my head, but z divided by h should be one point something. So z divided by h equals plus r. So if we run this, 1.7, and it gives us all the long decimals there. So what if I print it out, systems.out.println, something like, and now I'm going to do it the second version instead of keep making all these variables. What would z divided by x be? So now you're dub dividing a double, a double by an integer. And then here we will put z divided by h. And see what this prints out. So it's now, what happens when a double divides in? A double divides an integer. It gave you the entire decimal. So if one of these variables here is an integer, and one's a double, as long as one of them's a double, it will print out all the decimals, the way you would expect your calculator to print these out. There's one other thing I want to show you with arithmetic multiplication, is that it's called casting. So let's say you had two doubles and you're multiplying them. But you want the result to only be a whole number. So int n, you want the results here to only care about the integer, the whole number part. But you're multiplying z times h. And if you printed this up right now, system.out.println, and you do z times h equals, and then you concatenate that with the n. If you run this, oh, the syntax error in there, cancel. I don't want to multiply by h. Notice it's not even letting me do this. Because right now, this is a double, this is a double. So two doubles multiplied will give you a double. Problem is, we want an integer. And what this is called here is called casting. It's turning a double into an integer. And we'll do this in a bunch of different ways later on, on other things. But right now, this is the easiest version to show you. It's in parentheses saying, okay, this is going to give you a double answer, z times h. Turn it into an integer. Now it doesn't round. All it does is drop off the decimals. So if you look and we run this now, it turns it into 16. It doesn't give us any of the decimals. 5.34 times 3.14 is 16 point and a whole bunch of decimal, a uh, whole bunch of numbers after that it drops them off and just gives you 16 and that's called casting and the last bit is order of operations matter so that means the computer does this in PEMDAS as most of you know PEMDAS remember parentheses go first then exponents then multiplication division addition and subtraction I'll show how you do exponents in a future lesson, but right now, don't forget that parentheses, multiplication, then division, then addition, then subtraction. That's it today for arithmetic expression.